Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today we're checking out a product from a company called Movo. Movo actually reached out to me and asked whether I'd be interested in reviewing one of their smartphone kits. So as you can see this is the iVlog 4 smart video kit and basically it comes with quite a few different accessories. So opening up the box that it comes in, first we're presented with a pamphlet and this has got a very big A4 sized guide in terms of everything that's actually included. Um, so obviously with this being a complete all-in-one, um, it should in theory have everything that you need so we can see some of the things just there. So as you can see a full A4 size uh, printout, we'll pop that to the side and we'll get rid of the box seeing as it seems to have come in its own carrying case as well which is actually quite nice um, with its own handle as well. So, opening this up. Right, so, yeah. F first impressions is I'm really impressed by the way that they've actually packaged everything and actually thought about um, storing uh, everything once you've actually made use of whatever you're making use of. Right, so try and break down what we've got. So we'll go with the simple things first, things that I've actually got and made use of previously. So we've got a little LED light uh, with Movo branding just there. Um, this is a 2000 milliamp, so this is very similar to some of the lights that I already have. So you have a few different intensities for the light. And then we have a mode button. I'm not entirely sure what the mode button does. I'm not sure whether that changes color temperature, but yeah, uh, nice little LED light. And obviously with this being a smartphone kit, um, it, it probably does come with a few more extras. Next thing, what we'll take a look at is the actual tripod base itself. So it is made out of aluminium, really nicely finished, um, feels very heavy, very expensive. So we do have a couple of locking setups. So let me see if this works, yeah. So the way it works is they've actually, this actually a really clever design because normally with these kind of tripods, what happens is you have one marking for um, basically your adjustment. So it tells you whether you have a narrow um, width for your legs or whether you have a wider one, obviously making it a lot shallower and giving you a more solid base. Now with this, what they've actually done is every single almost notch all the way around, they've, they've also included a white mark just there so then you can actually see um, what, which one you've got selected. And this, this mechanism here is really nicely dampened. So first impressions of this is it's, it feels high quality, really, really nice. Um, you've got some re really nice rubber grips just there on each leg, help you actually grip the thing um, when you're using it in selfie mode. On the top, you do have a ball head. Now, the one thing that I would have actually liked would have been um, some sort of spirit level on this, just so then you can actually get it perfectly level, but that's not uh, the end of the world because you can always just add something like that on top if you need it. Okay, so this is the actual smartphone cage itself. We do have some Movo branding just on each end just there. And this is the SPR5 model. So if you were to buy this separately, that is basically what you would be getting. All right, so I'll just pop that to the side. Okay, yeah, so I spoke too soon on the spirit level part. So yeah, we do actually have some spirit level. Okay, and this is your actual smartphone holder. So if I just rotate it around that way, so by turning this screw on the side, you're extending it out and then you're tightening it back up again. I actually prefer the screw mechanism to the spring-loaded ones just because you can actually make it more precise and it means that you don't end up scratching any cases that you actually have on your phone. So that's actually a much better method for me personally um, rather than using the uh, spring-loaded mechanism that most, most tend to use. So, they, so the way that this would work is you would build it up just like this, fixing that onto there and depending on which way you want it facing, um, the coal shoe mounts seem to work both ways, so I don't think it actually matters which way around you actually mount this. So that is that, and then what we can do is attach our tripod to the bottom of this, and there straight away we have a tripod mount 
as well as having extended arms as well. And then obviously what we can do is attach our light to the top of it. Get that nice and tight. Yeah, so you do have two spirit levels on the back of this telling you both, both axes, basically X and Y. Next, we have a little trigger button. This is if you wanna do any remote photography or videography, you can start your recording using that. Put that to the side. Uh, we'll come to that a little later on. Next to that, we do actually have a load of cables as well. So we have a charging cable, uh, USB-A to USB-C. After that, we have a standard uh, 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable. And after that, we have a right angled and it is labeled as smartphone. So as you can see just there, this is a TRS to TRRS cable. So this is the one that you would attach to either your iPhone dongle or directly into any, any uh, phones that have uh, a headphone jack and basically it will work directly with that. So the next thing we have are some wireless transmitters for audio. If we take a look, this is your receiver. So this is the part that would actually attach somewhere on here. Um, and what you can do is, let's see if they've actually made use of the cold shoe adapter. No, they actually haven't. So I would have thought that they would have made this the same size as the cold shoe mount. It doesn't appear to be. Okay, so it looks like in order to use this with a cold shoe mount, we do have a few more adapters here. So what you would do is take this part off. I'm guessing just slides off, yes. So that would slide off and then you would attach this one and that actually has a cold shoe mount on it as well as a tripod mount. So that then enables you to attach it directly uh, to a cold shoe. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of having the, uh, the sort of belt clip on the back of the receiver is. Um, I would have thought this would have been better off um, with just a standard mount. So we do have the wireless transmitter and receiver just there, also branded with Movo. What we'll have to do is test this out. Now these appear to just take, I'm guessing, AAA batteries. So we do have a battery opening just there. I did think these, they, they felt a little light and just there. So yeah, both of these just take AAA batteries in order to get them working. So we'll have to have a little test of those, see how they actually sound. Because we're obviously getting a transmitter and receiver kit, what we should also have is a lav mic. So here is the actual lav mic. We'll get one of these accessory boxes opened up. So we do have a couple of wind muffs to cover up the lav mic. We have what looks like, once again, just a standard um, microphone clip. Okay, so yeah, it is just a standard push on type and then you put your wind muff over the top. There we go. So that is one lab mic set up, obviously with your TRS cable just there and we have these spare. Now the other accessories that we have is we also get a spare clip for the actual lab mic itself. So just in case the original breaks, I have tried a few of these type of microphones in the past and the actual ends of this plastic clip can tend to break if you ever try to actually take it off and flip it around the opposite way. And this was the part that we were mentioning earlier on the receiver where we can actually slide that off and slide this one on. And we now have a cold shoe mount for the actual receiver. And if we tighten this down, or probably better off putting it this way, so it's facing backwards. And we're starting to get a little setup here. So that is what we have so far. I'm gonna have to lean back. It's got so much stuff going on here just extend those legs again, and drop that down. Right, so what else do we have in this kit? So we have the microphone that we can attach to the transmitter, which is just there. And you do have some labels on the front. Uh, one is for your line in and one is for your microphone. Okay, so what else do we have? So with this being a smartphone rig and trying to make it as generic as possible, what we also have is a little wide angle lens as well. It is made of metal, 
and on the back of it you do well you have on the front you have a metal clip to cover the front and on the back you have a what looks like plastic yeah so a little plastic one at the back and then this will just screw in and so what you would do is line this up with your smartphone camera and try and get the lens lined up and that would then give you a um, what is this 18 millimeter wide angle lens um, on your standard sort of lens on on your smartphone which is generally a bit more zoomed in and basically just gives you more functionality in terms of giving you a wide angle lens with the aperture of whatever your standard lens is which is generally going to be better than whatever you're going to get from your wide angle lens on on the standard smartphone so for example i believe the iphone one is a f1.6 this will then give you an f1.6 or f1.8 whatever it is uh, with a wide angle lens as opposed to 2.2 which I believe is what the wide angle lens is. So pop that back in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this part is actually for. Yeah, so this is quite literally just an extension. So if you want to actually make it, make it taller, um, this just gives you the option of adding this in the middle um, just as a bar and that will then give you a little bit of an extension um, to, to yourself essentially. After that what you also have is a Movo sticker just there and a little sort of satisfaction card whether you're happy or not and some customer information in terms of how to contact them and finally you do also get what looks to be a Alcantara type suede yeah so that that's actually a very nice piece of cloth um, this is obviously for cleaning both your smartphone lens as well as the included um, ultra wide adapter that they've actually included. So yeah, quite quite a lot to actually digest in terms of this kit. What I will do is I'll test everything out, put some batteries in the transmitter and receivers. I'll do try and do a few tests of those. This light is pretty much identical to the ones that I already have. So I already know how this performs. And generally these, these are really good, um, especially for this type of setup where it's basically just a vlog. So it's always gonna be you who is center of focus. So for example, if I just use this now, you can see how much extra light that is actually giving me and if we just turn it off you can see the difference and whilst it's not perfect in terms of spreading the light out considering how much it does actually diffuse the light um, it's it's definitely workable and obviously if you're in dark environments using a smartphone you generally want as much light as possible so yeah that is everything that actually comes as part of the kit as i say i will have follow-up videos so if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon that way you'll be notified whenever i upload that video and i'd really appreciate if you also give this video a thumbs up as well and other than that, thanks very much for watching.